Hello and welcome back to another week of dinners. This week I have four meals for you guys. All of them are super easy, fast, and I would say like good summer meals because um, two of them are in the crock pot. One's just a nice big salad, so it's perfect for this time of year right now. And let's just get into how I meal plan and everything we made this week. Okay, so for this week on Monday, um, my husband plays in a basketball league and I actually went out with my parents, so um, we didn't make dinner that night. And then Tuesday, we had Chinese chicken salad, and I also had some of these frozen dumplings from Aldi. Just a few leftovers, so we had those with it. And um, Nick grilled some chicken, and then we had it on the salad, and we served it with the dumplings. And then I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so I tried to come up with meal ideas that were super easy slash like these two I actually just had in the crock pot all day while I was sleeping so that worked out really nicely. I ended up actually switching these two because I realized that the chicken um, only needed to cook for like four hours and I only napped for a few hours this day whereas this day I had to sleep all day before going back to work. So anyway, I made the chicken tacos on Wednesday. I like kind of made it so you could make it into a bowl or a burrito or a taco. So I ate mine as a bowl and then I think Nick did also, but we had leftovers like as tacos and stuff. And then Thursday we had these um, meatballs that um, go in the crock pot and they're really good. Very easy, I just made the meatballs ahead of time. And then the morning of, all I did was put the meatballs into the crock pot with the stuff for the sauce. And then they cook on low for like, I think I had mine for seven or eight hours. And then we just served it over pasta. And Friday, um, we just had leftovers because we had leftover pasta and chicken. So we just ate that and that's all we had for this week. So I'll show you how I made the meals. On Sunday, we actually ended up having this Parmesan crusted chicken um, that you just bake in the oven. They're like chicken tenders uh, because we had just gotten back from a trip, so we had something super easy. I also made this boxed quinoa rice mix from Aldi, and we had some broccoli that needed to be used up, and we had everything for a salad, so we had two veggies that night. But yeah, this was a great dinner. On Monday, we had this Chinese chicken salad, and Nick kind of made up his own marinade. Sorry, I didn't film that. Um, and then he grilled the chicken, and um, on the salad, we just put avocado, green onions. I had some edamame. We also crushed up some of the, like, cup of noodle, ramen noodles. I forgot I had bought mandarin oranges for this, too, and I totally forgot to add them. Still good. So for Wednesday, we had this crock pot chicken that you could totally use for a bowl or a taco, a burrito, whatever. Um, so I started off with two chicken breasts. Mine were pretty much frozen, but it still worked out. And basically, you're just going to dump in a bunch of cans. So I've got some black beans, but you can use whatever beans that you want. Um, a can of diced tomatoes. You could even use fresh tomatoes if you want, because this ended up being a little bit liquidy. Um, a can of green chilies. I also added in some corn. Um, you can use a can, but I just had this little bit of frozen corn, so I used the rest of that. And then some tomato paste. I used about half of a can. That's what the recipe called for, and I actually happened to have half of a can, but you could use more or less, depending on what you have. Of course, I added minced garlic. There was hardly any left in this jar, so I just rinsed it out and used what I had. And then for some fresh things, I added in a chopped half of an onion, and then I had one yellow pepper and like half of a red bell pepper just sitting in my fridge, so I added that in as well. I added in a bunch of random spices. I think I added in other ones than what the recipe called for, but the recipe will be linked below and I just show like everything that I used. After the spices, all I did was add some lime juice and some cheese and then it was ready for the crock pot.
I cooked this on low for about five hours just because my chicken was frozen. Um, but then all I did was shred it up. I kind of had a hard time shredding it, so I didn't show it. But this is how I served my bowl. We topped it with lettuce. I made some homemade pico de gallo and then avocado. We also ate it with tortilla chips. I kind of like scooped it on the chips and that was really good. But like I said, this would be good in a taco or burrito because it is like a little bit more of a filling. It's like more liquidy with those diced tomatoes. But I really enjoyed this meal. It was really yummy. For Thursday's dinner, I actually prepped some meatballs the day before so that I could just put them in the crock pot in the morning. And so I'm just going to show you what I added to the meatballs, um, but basically you can just watch. So I'm going to play some music now. rolling all of the meatballs into a little ball I used my ice cream scoop and at the end I think I probably got about 15 meatballs or so and so the morning that I wanted to make them all I did was put them into my crock pot and then I added a jar of tomato sauce any kind you like will be fine so I added the entire jar to the meatballs and then I also added a large can of crushed tomatoes um, I think I actually have the recipe so you'll just have to you know see everything you're supposed to add when I link it down below if you need more meatballs than this and I also added some spices I always just kind of make my own Italian seasoning because I don't buy it like pre in a jar I don't know so these are the spices that I added and um, when you add them to the crock pot you just want to be careful not to like break up the meatballs obviously so I kind of just stirred it along the top of the tomato sauce which takes a minute but it ends up being fine and then I just cooked it on low for seven to eight hours so here is the finished product um, this was really good and the meatballs turn out really tender you can also cook them on high for four to five hours if you don't have time and definitely use a lean cut of beef because otherwise you will have a lot of grease on the top but I used 90 10 and that worked out great we just served it with a side of peas and some garlic toast I did want to say sorry for the audio this week. My dishwasher was running and it's hot so I have a fan on so I know it's not the best sound quality but thank you for putting up with that. I hope some of those meals looked good for you or your family or were helpful to you, especially the crock pot meals. I really hate turning my oven on right now and they were just really nice to have prepped for dinner for a busy work day or honestly whatever. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you in a few days for a grocery haul. Bye!